Hello everybody. Uh, tonight I'm going to be making a video about using Mod Podge on some rocks. And this is the first time I've ever done this. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, basically I'm going to take this Gloss Luster Mod Podge and I'm going to apply it to some rocks that I have. I've got um, a few unpolished rocks. I got some that are polished. I got four pieces of agate. Three of them are polished. One is not. Uh, I got three pieces of fluorite which are polished. I got another stone that I have that's polished. And I got this little specimen that is obviously not polished. So this is originally why I decided to experiment with Mod Podge because of this little slice of agate here. And I've got this polished little piece of agate. And I've got this one as well. And I've got this one. And I've got this stone. And these little pieces of fluorite here. Oh, it's kind of tiny. This one's really neat. It's got some purple in there. I got this larger piece of fluorite. These ones I just polished a couple months ago. They're the last batch of rocks that I had polished. These are the ones that my girlfriend chose to have me polish. Um, they don't really polish up all that great, but still, I think they're they're pretty nice. So, got me a, a chip brush, and I got a foam brush. So, I guess this one's as good as any. And uh, I had these little plastic pieces here after I'm done brushing it on. I'm just going to set them on there to dry. And I guess this takes four weeks to cure, so we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't take that long to, to get some, some neat results. So I'm going to be using the chip brush on this piece. So this is my first time doing this. I have no idea <laughs> really what I'm doing. I don't think I want to brush it on too heavy. I'll try and make it fairly nice and uniform. Make sure I fill in all the the gaps on these pieces. Now this is a glue also, so I gotta be careful not to get it on all the sides so it doesn't stick to the plastic and ruin it. So this bottom part there I'm not going to apply any to. Going on kind of milky color, but I assume I'm just going to dry clear. This is a clear gloss. All right. First piece appears to be done. this without knocking it over. Alright. 
this side here is kind of uneven, so I think that side will be the side that I do not. And I think I'm going to use a chip brush for this one as well. So I have some soap and water handy so I can clean these brushes off when I'm done. Um, just very cheap brushes anyways, but I'm actually going to go back over this. With the foam brush just so I can get a... Hmm. Looks like the foam brush was taking off that I had just put on there. Well, I'm gonna go back over with the chip brush again. And, uh, I'm not going over it too thick. There's that one. I'm hoping the, the glue levels itself out. The, I'm gonna try the foam brush one more time. See how that turns out. Using all these rocks because they're not really anything that I I have sentimental value to me too. It appears as though this foam brush is leaving tiny bubbles. So you know, Nice and smooth, but I'm not sure if I use a chip brush, I kind of see brush strokes, so I don't really know like I said, if those are going to level out or not. But this foam brush, I think I kind of like the way it looks. Well, they're better with the foam brush. Um, I've got four rocks down. Uh, one, two, three, four, five more to go.
last three. Trying to be careful. Get the edges. But also I'll try not to put too much on so get some on the bottom so and it's just plastic so I'm not worried about it sticking too much. I'm sure I can get it to come off. It's going on the fastest with the foam brush here I read the instructions on the bottle obviously it's always good to read the instructions especially when you're painting and doing projects you've never done before Worked in a paint department at Ace Hardware for 12 years and work at one of Menards now. I'm always reminding the customers to read the instructions and if I don't know something, I read myself. So you never want to give someone bad advice or do something the wrong way and ruin something, end up with a mess and having to redo it again. So I am all done putting on the Mod Podge. And now I'm going to soak my brushes. And when I feel like I can post another video and show you guys what it looks like I will do so hopefully it's not four weeks from now um, don't forget that I also have some more videos coming up about some rocks that are tumbling I think tomorrow I'm gonna take out the, the ones that have been going for over a week now I decided to push it a little bit further go towards uh, nine or ten days and um, so yeah tomorrow I'm gonna be taking those out and uh, I'll go over those with everybody, and then I'm going to be moving on to step three with the rocks that I'm tumbling. So, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.